Here, Boston Rob, the mineralist, principal responsibilities to develop strategies for challenges and develop strategic alliances that are impervious. Where's Grant? The destroyer of aspirations, better known as the assassin, principal responsibilities to go out and compete, destroying any competitor. Right there, look at that. The fine specimen is creeping up on his prey. He, he has his pink shorts on. They attract the crabs. They just think I'm a meathead, but when it comes to competition, I'm filet mignon and they're a bunch of steakers. Philip, does that inspire you when somebody kind of throws that in your face and says, this baby's coming back with us? Oh, it brings out the animal in me. I will outlast any man over there. What about the women? That's another day. We'll see. And Philip speaks so highly of himself. Stop talking about yourself. Boston Rob took you to the end of the game. You didn't do anything. You were made fun of, and you come here and you tell me, don't bite the hand that feeds you? I feed myself. Philip. You don't do jack for me. I asked, hey guys, what is your energy level? Everybody said zero, zero, two. They asked me what's mine. I said, oh, about a seven, but I'm like a 15 right now, you know? So I should have dialed it down back to two because I don't want them to think that I'm real energized, but I just can't help it. I mean, they, they, they can see it. Yesterday, my trunks were hidden by Jewett before she got voted out. So I got up this morning and I had a premonition that I was gonna find my shorts. My great-great-grandfather, full-blooded Cherokee Indian, came to me in a vision. And I'm gonna be the silent assassin. <laughs> Shame on my part. I told Sari I'm good with her, but if someone's gonna throw her name out, I'm gonna go with it. I caught a fish. I caught a fish. <laughs> I poked it with a stick. I caught a fish. So anyway, the baby god man won't come up and make a big gob of love, and I'll tell her go. Yeah, either. we need the translator on that yeah. one. That was what? just a little too I much. I had no clue what you just said. All I heard was gob of love. Is that a catfish? I was thrilled. I'd never seen a saltwater catfish. I didn't know they made such an animal. Oh, uh, that is a skirt. You hold this. I want to put this on right now. Half of her dress is now a skirt from a shell, and the other half is a skirt for Blackbeard. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> my God, my thighs feel so much better. Fabio, man. I didn't even realize I was being called that at first. Oh, well. Fabio like rides a white horse and does butter commercials and is kind of a cheese ball. It's whatever. Dude, I don't care what they call me. I'm gonna win for a million dollars. So I guess my nickname's Fabio. Timber? you. But if I were ever pass you along in life again, and you were laying there, dying of thirst, I would not give you a drink of water. I would let the vultures take you and do whatever they want with you, with no ill regrets. I plead to the jury tonight. If I could find that idol, then that would be genius. In, in history of Survivor, how many people found the idol without a clue? I just hope it's not me. If it is me, then I hope that I drag someone with me down to hell. <laughs> Gentleman in the back with a black cat, blue shirt. What's going on? Yeah, my name's Luke. Um, yeah, like survivors, I guess it's on your bucket list, you know? If it's not on your bucket list, do you even have a bucket list? That's what I reckon. You didn't even ask me a question. I can't wait till we get to tribal council. <laughs> I understood my tribe's reasoning for wanting to set me out. I'm five foot two, a little busted can of biscuits. But that's the story of my life. Everybody underestimates me because of my size. But I had a heart of a lion and I'm strong like an ox. Woo, 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 woo. This is a strategy. It's a strange one. It's a strange one. No.